Hi, I'm Bill Varenkamp. I'm Director of Technical Operations here at Imaging Spectrum. And today we're going to talk about the new DNP WPS, and that's Wireless Print Server Pro. This is the second generation of their wireless print server. This one is much better, much beefier. Um, it just seems to work a lot better than the original WPS one. So um, for any of you that had the one, definitely uh, look at the Pro uh, if you want to get something that's uh, definitely uh, more robust, more reliable. Um, when you open up a box with the new WPS uh, Pro in it, you are going to get the WPS, you're going to get the uh, power cable, you're also going to get this little sheet that has the basics on how to set up. So do make sure you hold on to that because there is something in there that's really important to have. One other thing, just an FYI, I did beta testing on this unit. So the front and the top of your unit may look a little bit different than this one, but I uh, did want to let you know that uh, yours may not look exactly like this. Okay, so um, once you open up the box and get everything out and everything, um, what you want to do is, of course, plug in everything, plug in the power supply, plug in the USB to the printer. And just FYI, you do have to have it plugged into a printer, and the printer does have to be ready to go. It doesn't need to have the paper loaded, and you do need the, uh, the ready light on the front. Uh, the WPS does work with any current DNP printer. So 440, the 80, uh, the 620, the 820, the RX1, and the RX1 HS. So it does work with all of those all of those printers. Um, so anyway, so get it, get that all plugged in, get it turned on, and um, first thing it's going to do, um, it takes about two minutes to turn on by the way, so don't you know, and, and it'll show you on the top, it'll do a countdown so you can watch it as it turns on. Once it does turn on and everything's uh, ready to go, it will do a test print. So don't think this is bad that you're, you know, losing money on a test print. It's really important because you do want to make sure that this is working. It is a wireless option here. And obviously you do hook the printer into the WPS. It does have four ports on it. So you can plug it into any of those ports and you can use multiple printers. So if you had a 620 that had four by six and a 620 that had five by seven and an 820 that had uh, eight by 10, you could do all three of those plugged into the um, WPS at the same time. And when you, when it sends the image, it'll, you know, go send it to the correct printer. Um, so anyway, that's uh, that's the starts here. Get it turned on, do the test print and everything. Next thing uh, that you do have to do is going to be on the computer. Now there is no direct connection from the computer to uh, the, the computer driver to the WPS. You will need to go in and install the DNP hot folder prints onto the computer in, able to, to, in order to get these to work. Because actually what you're doing is you're dropping photos into the hot folder prints and then they're sending wirelessly to the WPS. So do bear that in mind. Do make sure you do that. Um, after you get the uh, hot folder prints uh, installed, you do need to connect your computer network to the WPS. So when you just go to your network settings, you'll see the WPS and each WPS has a different number. So um, do look for anything that says WPS and then has either uh, four letters and numbers uh, behind it. And that's the one you want to connect to because basically this is going to be your network. So you do need to be careful if you're trying to do um, you know, do you know, run a network, you know, upload prints or something and the WPS at the same time because really this is going to be your server. So the next thing you want to do is you want to open a um, file explorer window, not, not an internet explorer, but the, uh, uh, the, file, um, the file explorer window. Then this is, this is where it gets a little complicated and this is where this sheet might help a little bit because you do need to put um, forward slash forward slash 192.168.432. Dot one. It's really critical that you put all those in, put the dots in the right place, then hit enter. And it'll actually go looking for the, uh, for the folders and for the hot folder prints and, and give you options inside the hot folder prints to uh, find the correct uh, size. So when you do, like we have a 620 here, so that'll open up, that'll show the 620 folder. Inside there we'll have two options, four by six and two two by six whichever one you're doing at the time, be sure to point to it. And uh, once you point to it, it'll give you a, a, um, a location. So it'll be network, 192.168.43.1, hot folder prints, 620, and then the four by six. And that's what you wanna use to, that's where you need to point to. Now, if you're just dropping photos in, you can just drop 
drop them into that folder. However, if you're going to be using software like Darkroom Core, Darkroom Booth, you do need to point to that exact location in order for it to go to uh, the correct folder. So what, what you want to do is once you get that set, just copy. Then when you go into your software, let's say Darkroom Booth here, okay, and you just go to your settings and you can go to save and output, okay, and when you go to save output, just take the copy, take the folder, and you want to paste the 168, all that information in there. That way, Darkroom knows where to send it to. Okay, so get that set, click OK. Now, when you use Darkroom Booth, um, it'll still print. Uh, it, I'm sorry, you do need to turn off the print when you do that because it'll, it'll go looking for the print, but the, uh, it will save it to the hot folder print and then send it to the printer. Hope that makes sense. Uh, this is where you want to turn off the, the uh, print photo right there. Um, so anyway, uh, once you get that done, um, then you're ready to, to start, um, start your sessions. And again, it'll, it'll send it to the uh, WPS, and, uh, which will send it to the printer, and it'll print it out wirelessly. Um, by the way, don't get more than about 30 feet away, and I will tell you, if you're in a, possibly in a convention that has a lot of wireless um, uh, networks in there, you may have some issues, so do bear that in mind. And make sure you have a backup, uh, just in case you get in a situation where there's you know, higher network traffic than, uh, than it can hold, so. All right, well that's the WPS Pro, and uh, Thanks for uh, checking in, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, just give us a call, 1-800-342-9294. Thank you.